up and at him, rise and shine. Can I come in? No. Why, thank you, ma'am. Don't mind if I do. So much for privacy around here. Look at that. What a beautiful day for stretching those gorgeous legs, huh? I, I just told Sister Marie I want those closed. Well, I guess she forgot to tell me. Come on, let's go. No. Smile when you say that. I'm not in the mood. And you weren't in the mood yesterday, either. Come on, we can't afford to let those muscles get lazy now. We've made much too much progress. You know, so altitude got into your hearing or something because I just said no. Yes. You know, what is wrong with you? Don't you want to get better? Not really. I don't see any point in getting better if I can't go home again. And why not? What are you afraid of, Vanessa? Anybody there? Is anybody logged on? All alone in cyberspace. Well, who would be on the air at this hour anyway? So are you ever going to say anything? Like what? Well, I don't know. It's just that you haven't said a word since you got in the car. I'm afraid I'm going to incriminate myself. Really, Ross, since you're now the new DA, I'm afraid that whatever comes out of my mouth, you're going to use against me. Oh, come on, Blake. Well, please. It was bad enough when you were a regular lawyer in private practice. And who knows what you'll do now that you're DA? It's like you'll be the moral conscience of the world or something. That is just such a ridiculous statement. It's not statement a ridiculous that... statement at all. I mean, you were grilling me about Annie and Reva before we even left the party. Uh, no, I asked you one question about Annie falling down the stairs. Well, you were there, Ross. You saw what I saw. Yeah, but you and Annie are friends. So? So I thought you might know what they were fighting about. Why did you push me down the stairs? No, well, I didn't had to push know you. Reva, no. I did Look, have Annie to push her. no condition for Shut you Shut up, to... Alan. We don't need your help here. I'm just trying to help. And I, I know exactly what myself, you're doing, and Joshua, we don't need you. I didn't do anything wrong. Yes, you did. You, you pushed me down a flight of stairs. You knew how much I wanted this baby. I'm sorry you lost your your baby. Annie, please, Joshua, you have to believe me. I didn't do this. Annie did this to herself. Reva, she listen. said she knew something about my real sister. She asked me to come upstairs, and when I followed her up there... Wait. Alan, you know... I know what. You were there when I tore into Annie about pretending to be my Didn't sister. You can back me up because you heard this. Sister, no, you know that's not the truth, Alan. Reva, I don't know what you're talking about. You lied. Reva, no. I don't no, no, know no, what back you're off, talking back off. about. No, hey. you picked a fight. What is going on? That's you enough. Stop calm it. Down. Do you realize she's in please? shock still? Come on. Just calm she down, everyone. doesn't know what she's talking about. It doesn't about. matter anyway because it's all a lie. All of this is a lie. I lost my baby, Reva. You picked a fight with me. That's why this happened. And you threw yourself down those stairs, I can't believe you're saying this. My baby was my life. But now my life is gone, Reba. It's gone. Right, stop it. This isn't the time or place for this discussion. But she's blaming me for something I didn't do. I'm just trying to clear my name. Reba, I think stop you it. should leave. My baby is dead. She killed I've my never hurt anyone. You all know that. I've never hurt anyone. Up. Just get her out of here. Just make her leave. Listen to me, 
I know you're upset. I know you're angry, but this shouting match isn't helping anything, okay? You're taking her side? No, I'm not, but Annie's just had a miscarriage, and you're, you're, you're saying somehow it's her fault. But it's true, and I'm not going to stand by and be, take the blame for something I didn't do. Weaver, come on, what you're saying, that, that somehow Annie did this to herself, it's crazy. I'm not crazy. And you should know that better than anyone. Are you forgetting what she did to try to keep us apart? I'm not forgetting a single thing you that you've said that to me. No. Are you lied about being the daughter my mother no, gave up I know for adoption? That. The you told I never me that, met. Yes. Are you forgetting what all this did? Reva, what please. What this did just, to us, how it destroyed enough. everything all right? we had. It's if enough. she could do that, then she would Forget stop about her, will you please? But Annie... Forget about her! Do this for me. She's not the only one who's suffering here. I lost a child tonight. What if I told you that the baby Annie lost might not have been yours? I just was wondering what it would... I was just wondering what it... If my family didn't want me back, that's all. Hey, come on. That is not going to happen. It's not in the cards. It's possible. They might have moved on with their lives and not really have the time for me, or they might find out what I did and become very angry with me. Now, that is a distinct possibility. Vanessa, wherever they are and whatever they are doing, they will make room for you. And that comes with my personal guarantee. You know, I would really like some time alone. So would I, but no can do. See, I get paid to get you back on your feet, and I'm not about to miss another paycheck because you are having a bad day. Oh, I just, I'll, we'll do it tomorrow. I'll, I'll do the physical therapy tomorrow. Nope. I... nope, nope, I got rent to pay. I got my dog to feed, not to mention what this is going to do to my love life if I'm broke. I can't, I can believe you have a dog. It's very hard to believe that you have a love life because whoever she is would have to be a saint. Well, who says there's only one? Anyway, enough about me. Come on, let's get started. With this, very easy, just squeeze. Look, nobody's going to fire you because I don't feel like doing physical therapy for one day. Make that two days. Now squeeze. You squeeze. It's your turn. Come on, a couple of squeezes and a couple of kicks and I'm out of your hair. How about out of my life? You'll have to walk away first. I appreciate what you're trying to do. I, I, I really do. I just... I, I would just like to be alone with my thoughts, that's all. Being alone with your thoughts sounds like pretty bad company to me. It's probably what put you in this funk. You really think you're pretty smart, don't you? Look, I am not such a bad listener. If you won't work out, at least talk to me. Tell me what is bothering you. Absolutely not. Hey, what do you think you are, anyway? My physical therapist or my shrink? Well, I'm neither at the moment. But I thought we were becoming friends. Listen, what do I have to do to get through to you? I told you, I don't feel like doing physical therapy today. <sighs> and uncle, I don't uncle, feel uncle, like talking uncle, to you. Uncle, fine. Good. <sighs> Man, but at least if you won't talk to me, maybe you can talk to your computer nerd friend, Cyberboy. Maybe he can cheer you up. Turn that off. You turn it off. Oh, you are really presumptuous. Well, I'm many things, but unfortunately a poet ain't one of them. Ugh. There. Here's your favorite chat room. A chat. I just told you that... Get out. Leave me alone. Tess, is that you? Yes, Robert, it's me. Are you all right? Yeah, I'm just in a foul mood today. What's the matter? Are you still there? Yeah. Look, I just don't feel like talking today. I hope you don't mind. <laughs> Why'd you log on if you don't feel like chatting? I didn't log on. Michael did. Michael? 
Who's that? Michael's a man who makes his living by torturing other people and rendering them practically unconscious. Wait a minute, is this guy hurting you? <laughs> no, I think I confused you. Michael is... He's my personal trainer, and today he just got a little too personal for my taste. Well, put him on. I'll set him straight. Hey, listen. I can fight my own battles. Are you sure? <laughs> yeah, I'm sure. I can handle it. I'm serious. I'll, I'll even call if you want me to. It's not necessary. But I want to. <laughs> yeah, but you don't even know my phone number. So give me the number and I'll call. No. Look, if you're, if you're one of these uh, women that, are, you know, has too much pride to let somebody help them, then... I'm not one of these women who has too much pride to let somebody help them. Because some people are. What, what, what is it today? Why is everybody second-guessing me? Look, look, I can make my own decisions, and if you can't accept them, then I don't think we should be talking. To tell you the truth, I wasn't looking at either one of them tonight, Ross. My focus was elsewhere. It was on you. Oh. Well, I was thinking about you, too, especially when Amanda made that uh, announcement. You were? Yes. You were always the one that I want to share good news with first. And the bad news? Who's, who's on top of that list? else. No, you uh, always cheered me up when I was depressed, and uh, you grounded me when I got too high about something. I guess old habits die hard. Sometimes in court. Yes. When Amanda made that announcement, though, uh, my first instinct was to run over and hug you. Mine, too. Of course, I didn't know if you'd ever want to speak to me again after what I said to Haggerty tonight. That thought did run through my mind. Uh, yes. It was one noble gesture shot to hell. Excuse me, Mr. Haggerty, but the situation with our children is not Ross's fault. See, I'm the slut. Well, at least you didn't say that. Did you? No. No. It happens for something. Yes, you better believe it. So, you know, I think that decision to make me district attorney, that was made before the party even started. Well, oh, forget about it. <clears throat> All's well that ends well that ends with me being district attorney, right? Ross. Yes? I just want you to know that I, I, I was only trying to help you. Oh. Well, please. No more help? Honey, I am so sorry you lost your baby. Thank you. I keep pretending that it's a nightmare and I'm going to wake up and my baby's going to be fine. You know, it'll have my smile and maybe Josh's eyes and it'll be the most beautiful. I really wanted this baby. I had a lot of plans. Of course you did. I don't know if I'm going to make it. I can't picture myself leaving this hospital with... No. You it's just to... going to be really hard. Well, you're not going to leave just yet. I want to keep you overnight for observation. What? Okay. I just want to keep an well, eye on you. Uh, it's all over. I mean, and... I, I lost my baby. I'm fine. No I'm buts. just a little no sore. Buts. That's all. If you're okay by morning, you can get out of here, okay? Okay. Rick, Annie, we'll be no... ready And in I the next want you to minutes. calm down, okay? Please. I'll be right back. <sighs> Thank you, Lillian, for everything that Don't you, you're worry doing about for me. anything, all right? We're going to take good care of you. Thanks. Hey, can I get get you anything? No, no, but thank you, Ellen. I'm, I'm really sorry about the baby. I, I know how much it meant to you. All right, we've 
Retriever, you're bouncing off a few too many walls here for me. What exactly did you mean when you said you don't think the baby's mine? Come on, I need some straight answers. Okay. I know how difficult this is for you, especially now, but I think I should tell you. Tell me what? You know how I get feelings here. And I'm usually right. Reva, come on, don't tell me this. Uh, this is okay, about feelings, okay. okay? A couple of days ago, I had a feeling, but I didn't want to say anything to you because it, it was just so ugly. I didn't want to upset you unnecessarily. Please, just get to the point. I know that this is going to sound insane, but I have reason to believe that the baby Annie lost was not yours, Joshua. Are you trying to tell me that you think she had an affair with no, another man? No, no, just hear me out, please. Okay. I swear on my mother's name that I did not push Annie down those stairs. She grabbed my hand like this and she put it on her own chest and she threw herself down those stairs. I reached out to try to stop her, but it was too late. She was already gone. There's no way she could have just slipped. She fell on purpose. But why? Reva, come on. This baby meant everything to Maybe because she knew it was the only way she could hold on to you. <sighs> Maybe. But that still doesn't mean that I'm not the father. Think about it, Joshua. Do you really think that Annie would throw herself down a flight of stairs and risk losing that baby if it was yours? Reva, do you hear what you're saying? I know. I know how this sounds, but it's the only way to explain any of this. Do you remember Annie's friend, Fran? She used to work at the Northside Fertility Clinic. I think that Fran arranged for Annie to be artificially inseminated. Do you have any proof of that? No. I've been trying to find Fran, but it's like she disappeared off the face of the earth. I think Annie might have had something to do with that, too. I don't have any proof. I just know it. Reva, you don't know, though. That's, that's the whole point here. You don't know. It would explain a lot of Annie's actions, and it would explain a lot of other things, too. Annie never wanted me to talk to Fran. I think she was afraid that the truth was going to come out, that I was going to find out that the baby she was carrying wasn't yours. Reva, it fits, Joshua, don't you see? Even if what you're saying is true, even if I'm not the father, Annie's still the mother. Do you really think she would kill her own child? I wouldn't put anything past oh, her Oh, come at this on, point. Reva. You know what? I can't listen to this anymore. You I have can't. to believe no, me, Joshua. No, Reva, not tonight. I can't deal with this tonight. It's too soon. No matter what's going on between me and Annie, I still cared for that child. I know. <sighs> And I'm sorry, Joshua, and I hate to have to tell you all this, but I think you should know. I think you should know everything before it's too late. Please. Wait. Rick. Reba, what if you ran a test on the baby? Please. What if you ran a DNA test on that baby? I think if you do that, you're going to find out that it wasn't Joshua's baby. What are you saying, Reva? All right. You tell me right now. You tell me what you're that's saying that's right enough. now. That's enough. You know what I'm saying. I'm saying it Rick. wasn't Joshua's baby. I think you had yourself artificially inseminated. We'll continue with part two of Guiding Light in a moment. Reva, all a DNA test would do is make you look like a fool. Well, I'm willing to take that chance, but I'll bet Annie's not. Josh, please, I lost the most precious thing in Annie? the world to me. Please, I can't listen right, to this I madness. I can't now. listen to it. It's too cruel. Please make her leave. Thank you very much. If she doesn't leave, then take me somewhere, anywhere. I don't care. Just get out of my face, Reva. Get away from me. I'm her, telling you, I can't her handle this. It's racing it's out of control. Cruel. Give me five milligrams she of diazepam. I got room, too. Calm her down. Josh! Right here. What the hell are you doing? How would you feel if you were being accused of murdering an unborn child, Rick? If you were being lied to and set up? Calm down. Calm down right now or I'll call security. Maybe we should just go home together. Yeah. Thanks, Abby. I'll be ready to go in a few minutes. She's going, Josh, right? She's yes, leaving? Yes, Annie, she's going. Thank you, now listen, sweetheart. Listen, I knew you would handle listen this. Listen to me, Annie. I knew you would. Annie, I have to leave. What? I'm just going to check on Maura and Shane. Make oh, sure okay. yeah. I forgot about that. I don't oh, want them going God. around without knowing what's happening right now. No, no, okay. of course not. Hey, listen. Listen, you're not going to tell him what happened to the baby without me. I just want to explain it to him, help him get over it, okay? I won't, I promise. And give him a big kiss for me and tell him I love him. I will. And, Josh, no matter what happens, I hope you know I will always love you. All right, everybody, we've got a room for her. Come on, 312, please. I'll I see you later. I know you're hurting. 
Jane. You have every right to be upset after everything that's happened tonight. But please, don't turn your back on me. Reva, I have to go be with the children. Just have the DNA test done. If you do, it'll prove that everything I'm saying to you is true. I know it's a lot to ask, but will you do it? If you're one of these men that thinks every woman is a damsel in distress just waiting for some guy to help her, then you're really barking up the wrong tree. <laughs> Somebody else said something like that to me once. Oh, yeah? Who? My wife. Your wife? What is somebody... What in the world are you doing spending so much time on the internet if you, if you have a wife at home? She's not here. Actually, she... Oh. Well, I just meant that... That I don't need any man or, or anybody to take care of me. I can do it myself. Let me ask you a question. If you could do anything, if you could be doing anything that you want right now, what would it be? Um, I guess I'd be working in my garden. So why aren't you doing that? Because I don't have a garden. I moved. I'm sorry to hear that. Me too. I miss it. You know, I, um... I just thought of something. I, I, I've got to go. Oh, okay. Well, uh, I'll talk to you another time. <laughs> Danny's wife is in deep. I need that money, and I need it now. And little does he know. What do I do? How do I deal with this? How desperate she's become. You will give me more time, Sasha. Oh, Danny, your heavenly angel. You know what can happen when my back's against the wall. Is really the devil in disguise. All right, here we are. <clears throat> you need money for uh, Michelle for babysitting? <laughs> are you kidding? She wanted to pay me. Promise me something. Huh? Mm -hmm. Never accept any money from any talk show. I can't believe you. It's a... Was a joke. A joke? Yes. Oh, I didn't think we did those anymore. Well, we're not going to if you're not going to laugh. Was that a direct accusation, Counselor? Yes, it was. Well, then you're out of order. Ross Marler. No, that's all right. Oh, no. No, it's, it's the last thing I want to hear, but uh, thank you for letting me know. No, no, we're going to have to talk about this in the morning. Yes, we will. All right, then, good night. What is it? What's wrong? It was my assistant at the DA's office with an update about Annie Lewis. What's up with Annie? She lost the baby. Thanks, Lillian. I know how you feel about me. Oh, Annie. That wasn't you. That was the drugs, and that was a long, long time ago. Thanks again. I'll be back. Hi, Alan. Hi, Lillian. Uh, listen, would it be all right if, if I stayed a few minutes? Oh, yeah. I'm just going to go get some sedatives. When I come back, you'll have to go, though, okay? Thanks, Warden. <laughs> 
feel like a car drove over me and then backed into reverse. Annie, don't even try to be a music, okay? <sighs> this is the worst night of my life. Yes, it is. What you've gone through is terrible, Annie. I feel so sorry. Reva only made it worse. Did you see her hanging all over Josh and then coming up with these crazy accusations? Yes, these accusations were even wild by her standards. They were infuriating and painful. I wanted Josh's baby more than anything. You know that. Yeah, I know that. Everyone knows that, Annie. But if you need anything or want anything, remember I am here. Do you think Josh believed Reva? Do you? Well, I think uh, they were pretty outrageous yeah. accusations. I could tell by his face that he didn't believe her. He didn't believe her. At least one good thing came out of this, huh? What, one good thing? Yeah, I'm trying to look on the bright side of things, even though I know there isn't one. Annie, listen, I uh, remember a few days ago when you almost lost your baby and had a miscarriage. You were inconsolable, and, and I was very worried about you. But now the only thing you seem concerned is about is what Josh is thinking. Now, why is that? What's going on? I keep thinking about those old movies, you know, where you, you can just turn back the clock. <laughs> I'd give anything if we could do that right now. Reva, um, it's late. I, I really have to go, okay? Please, Joshua, please. I'm just going to ask you one last time to please believe me. I know that this is very difficult for you. It's hard to absorb all this and deal with it right now. A baby died, and that's a terrible thing, but please, look at me. Just look at me and say, I know you, Reva. I've known you for so many years. And I know you would never say these horrible things about someone unless you had a really good reason to believe that they were true. Reva, I'm just so tired right now. In the morning. No, no. The morning may be too late. Annie's lied about so many things up to now. You can't take a word for this now. Especially where a precious baby is concerned, please. But she wanted this child. I know, I know that. there's just not something right. There's not something right about her story. What about Fran? What about her? Well, she's disappeared off the face of the earth. Maybe she's just on leave. No, no. I tried to track Fran down, and she's nowhere to be found. I don't know. I don't know what happened to her or what Annie might have done to Reva, her. come on. Listen to yourself. Now you're saying that Annie's done something Why to not? Fran. What? Look what she's done to us. Look what, what, what she's done to us. How much she's hurt us, Joshua. Please. please. Okay. Okay. Maybe she just made threats. I don't know. But Fran is still missing. Reva, I want to believe you. I do. But this is just too bizarre. It's too un unbelievable. I know. But it's the only thing that makes any sense. Damn it, Joshua. You have to believe that I did not push Annie down those stairs. There had to have been another reason why she fell. I can't believe that you would say something like that to me, Alan. Of course I'm upset about losing my baby. Maybe I just can't accept the fact that I've really lost it. Annie, Annie, forgive me. It was a terribly insensitive thing for me to say. I'm, I'm sorry. Can you get me some water, please? Sure. You asked me to invite Reva to the party so you could humiliate her, but I assume something went wrong that interrupt what, interrupted whatever you were trying to do. Now, Annie, I want you to know you can tell me anything. I will always honor your confidence, always. What would I tell you, Alan? You will tell me anything that you would tell someone that you totally trust. I honestly don't know what you're talking about. Annie. 
All right, all right. Uh, you know for a fact that I was going to embarrass Reva that evening. Yes, But and? it didn't work out. The minute that I saw her walking in with Josh, I couldn't go through with it. She's the one who came after me, Alan. Yes. Mm. Honey, I'm sorry. But look, mm. Josh also came after you. Yeah? What do you mean? Look, I couldn't help but notice that he came right by your side. He was the concerned husband, the, the, the grieving parent. Of course he's grieving, Alan. I'm grieving, too. We both are. But I think on some level, Annie, on some level it was nice to have him back, right? For heaven's sake, I was thrown down a flight of stairs by my husband's ex-wife. I damn near broke my neck and I lost my baby in the process. What husband wouldn't stand by his wife? Annie, I, I'm sorry. I, look, I've, I've, I've upset you. Yes. I didn't mean to do that. No, no Alan. Look, I, I, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to leave now. I'm sorry. I, I'm I didn't want to disturb I'm you, but tired. if you change your mind... Change my mind? Yeah, about talking about anything, you know? You know where to find me, okay? Sorry. And I want to tell you, the next time I kiss this hand, I want you on your feet, okay? Hmm? All right, I will be. Oh. No excuses. Alan, um... Thank you. You know, for everything. You got my number. I get mm. I decided I'm leaving, but I thought I heard you talking to someone. No, I was, uh, I was, I was praying. Oh, Annie, that's a good idea. <sighs> Lillian, hmm? do you think there really is a heaven? Oh, you know as well as I do how many miracles we see in this hospital. I mean, I know there's a heaven. And I really know that that little precious baby of yours is there right now. But it's you we have to worry about. No, I'm fine. No, you know, you aren't. But you will be if you get some rest. So I want you to take these two right now. No, no, no. I yes, don't need you have to. water, uh, right? Okay. And, right. um, you know what? They're guaranteed to put you out in about mm. ten minutes. So I'm going to get your pillows all ready. Mm. Good girl. Mm. Do you want me to sit with you while you fall asleep? Mm. No, you look like you're really busy. You go ahead. I'm always busy, but I'd love to stay with you no, for a while. No, it's okay, really. It's really okay. okay. Yeah. Lillian, wait, but before you go, I I was just wondering, what happened to my baby? What did they do to it? Oh, Annie, you don't have to worry about that. The hospital's going to take care of everything. No, Lillian, I know what they do with fetal remains, and I don't want that to happen to my baby. I want him or her to get a proper burial. So did you, um, did they... They didn't dispose of the body, no. It's in the morgue pending testing of any kind. Yes, you know, cause of death, time of death. But don't worry, I promise you, I will tell the pathologist that you want a really proper burial for your baby. Thank you. Thank you, Lillian. For more than you will ever know. get this. It doesn't make sense, Ross. Why would the DA's office be concerned about Annie's baby? I mean, you said they, they want to talk about it tomorrow at work? Yes, they do. What do they care about it one way or the other? You saw what happened at the party. Annie fell down the stairs. After arguing with Riva. So? So, there are questions. Annie fell. Do you know that? 
Oh, Ross, I'm sure it was an accident. River could have pushed her. I don't believe that. <laughs> I don't believe that she would have done that. Well, that's what Annie maintains, and because of that, there's going to be an investigation of an some sort. An investigation? Yes. yes, and it may involve my office. That's what the meeting is about tomorrow. I don't believe this, Ross. Are you saying that Riva could be charged? Oh, well, it's a little premature to say that, but Annie was hurt. Her baby died. Riva could be facing attempted murder charge for pushing Annie. Attempted? And a possible murder charge for the death of the baby. I know that having a DNA test done s seems cold. But it's the only way I can think of to prove to you and to make you and everyone else believe that I'm telling the truth, Joshua. I mean, Annie's lied about everything. She lied about being my sister. She's lied about how she lost this baby and who the father was. It's been a hell of a night, Reba. Why can't we just let it be? Because then you may never know whether or not you were that baby's father. Just do the test quietly. With Rick. Or with another doctor. No one has to know the results until the tests are verified. It doesn't seem right. You deserve to know the truth. Riva. You deserve to know listen, the truth. Listen to me, please. I can't deal with this tonight. I, I, I'm still trying to understand the death of a child. I can't start running blood tests to confirm paternity. It's just too much for me. I understand that. And I know how you feel, but if you ignore this... Reva. If you ignore this, Joshua, then you're gonna live a lie for the rest of your life. Okay, okay. If you can't have a DNA test done, then... Then go to the fertility clinic. Check that out. How so? Check to see if Annie was a patient there. If I'm wrong, I'll be the first one to admit it. But if I'm right... Please. Please, Joshua, just do it. I have to... I have to go be with the kids. like you could use a friend. You don't know the half of it. I am so sorry about all of this. Annie. What? Annie set this whole thing up. And somehow, some way, I'm gonna prove it before it's too late. Sleeping? Mm, yeah, I can hardly keep my eyes open. Well, the trick is not to. I just gave you two sleeping pills, remember? I... I... This has been Guiding Light. Outerwear by Andrew Mark.